Hi, hello and welcome to Cinema Express. My name is Ram Venkatshreka. In this episode of Kutti Review, we will be discussing the Telugu film Virata Parvam, directed by Venu Udugala and starring Sai Pallavi and Rana Dagubati. The first aspect that strikes you in Virata Parvam, which is a story emanating from confluence of revolution and love, is its continuous attempts to visually represent uh, these core themes. Uh, the closest it comes to in this process is through the shot of Venela, played by Sai Pallavi, drawing a heart around a wall painting of hammer and sickle. In a similar, more poetic shot, she cuts the same symbol on a leaf with sunlight producing the shadow of the symbol. Venela gets inspired by the writings of Naxal leader Ravana and develops a strong respect for him which then turns into love. In a letter, she describes herself as a red butterfly uh, drenched in the colour of communism. This dialogue also finds a visual iteration later when we see a butterfly flying uh, in front of uh, the communist symbol under which uh, Venela is sitting, waiting for Ravana. Even the word Lal Salam sees a brutally straightforward picturization that connects to the entirety of Venela's character arc. You see, despite the verbose nature of the film, which is filled with dialogues, slogans, poems and folklore tales, tales about uh, its central themes like revolution and love, the film keeps trying to make most of the medium. These choices often produce some beautiful imagery tainted by the undercurrent of pain and oppression. We might be looking at pleasing shots of these fighters marching through the lap of nature in its unadulterated glory. But we, just like them, cannot savour the beauty because the danger is omnipresent. The milieu and setting of the story are split between beautiful and dilapidated. And both of them are haunted by violence and the resistance the film takes sides with. Perhaps this is why the tension relents and a sense of safety prevails when the film is set in the thick of forests, a mild safe space for Ravana and his comrades. This lends the film a discomforting quality keeping us on the edge of the seat. Moreover, we can discern that the story is coming from someone who understands this life. Otherwise, we wouldn't see a policeman hailing from a backward community point out that while the majority of uh, people being disposed of in this revolution belong to oppressed communities, while the higher officials uh, who are in a relatively safe space come from higher communities. You see, Virata Pavam is a, it's a pure film. It's an attribute that makes the film rather heavy watch. Unlike an Acharya, which featured its nuptial protagonist shaking uh, his leg uh, in a dance, or Sinduram, which tried to pack in as much as humor through Raviteja's character, uh, with Virata Parvam, Ven Udugala delivers an unflinching narrative where every scene from the beginning to end contribute to its toll, although some of them might feel redundant. This can be off-putting for some, but it's important to know that the film doesn't try to please us with whistle-worthy moments. Yes, there are a few conventional high moments, like the ones where Ravana assures an old man that he will avenge the murder of his daughter. However, even in this moment, the camera and music doesn't, don't romanticize Ravana or his pledge. Despite a restrained Rana's limited screen time, uh, the writing and Suresh Bobili's music make Ravana's spirit feel omnipresent. Venela's pursuit for Ravana, however, does get tiring uh, after the halfway mark. Thankfully, Venu realizes that uh, we have had enough of this journey, which is guided entirely by Sai Pallavi. Although the actor doesn't try to ace the Telangana accent, it doesn't really pull her out of this world. She is, without a doubt, the star of this film. The period and the rural setting provide cinematographers Danny Satches and Divakar Mani a wide arena to play in and they are deftly complemented by Sri Nagendra's production design that's equally authentic and cinematic. Take for instance the shot of a maimed Venela lying on the floor in the police station after being subjected to torture. We see uh, the light in the background piercing through a gaps of wooden chairs in, in a crumbled atmosphere. This beautifully represents the plight of Venela. Likewise, uh, at least once in the film, all the good people of the story uh, are shot using either a candle or other natural light source as they are surrounded by darkness, just like their lives. Such shots, they prove that Venu Udgala's visual game is strong. Towards the end, Venu even shares the real incident that inspired 
inspired him to make the film and one can sense it in its uh, making after all he retreats it like uh, the epic love story of uh, meera bai and krishna and it's amusing how uh, he draws parallel uh, parallels with the mythology although uh, it is set in a brutally real world virata parvam might not be everyone's cup of tea and it is certainly not an easy watch it is not designed for uh, lazy viewing and it demands a certain level of attention and patience but backed by unadulterated uh, writing and strong visual treatment it makes sure that many of its striking images will remain etched in your memory long after you leave the theater that's it from this week's scooter review i hope to see you soon with another film thank you